eggs from Wisconsin are incredible and edible for more than one reason. Here to tell us more about the excellent poultry industry in our state is Wisconsin's 68th Allison Dairyland, Tiana Lather. Good morning. Good morning. So you brought some eggs for us and uh, we're going to talk about eggs this morning, even yes. though Easter may be over, <laughs> so people might not be thinking about them right now. Yeah, so the typical poultry industry in Wisconsin, it's actually a little tough to describe it as typical because it's so diverse, even in our state. And so we have farms of all sizes. We have farms that just have two or three birds as a backyard flock. We right. have farms that have a few hundred birds all the way up to a few thousand birds. And poultry itself can even encompass pheasants and turkeys in our state. But here in our state, we have quite a few laying hens. We actually have 5.1 million laying hens in our state, oh which is gosh. almost almost as many people well, as there are in say, Wisconsin. That's like one per person. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just about. And so in 2015, they laid nearly one and a half billion eggs in our state. Wow. Yes. So even um, the poultry industry goes back a, a few decades in, in my family too. Mm -hmm. And even when I was 15 years old, I was hatching out chickens in, in my backyard to show at the county fair. So they make a great 4-H project and uh, right. to be able to learn about agriculture in our state. And you can even have chickens in your own backyard That's in right. That's urban really areas. That's right. That's really popular nowadays, mm -hmm. especially here in Madison. Yes. Even in Madison, urban chicken farming is a possibility. And their eggs are really, really good too. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, eggs, most people think of eggs for eating, but that's not the only thing that they can be used for. Yes, eggs are actually a really important part of our medicine and pharmaceutical industry too, because a lot of research has been done with eggs to learn about health and medicine, but then a lot of vaccines are also developed from eggs as well. And so there's actually a lot of research being done at the University of Wisconsin-Madison right here in our home state in Dr. Mark Cook's lab. He was one of my professors when I was in school, and he's looking at using eggs as a, an alternative to deliver an alternative form of antibiotics for livestock. So interesting. really interesting things yeah. going on with eggs. But of course, for eating too, for all of us, they are packed with protein. There's six, six grams of protein in every single egg, and the cholesterol that's in eggs is actually good for you as well. Right. That has shifted recently because it's been shown through a lot of research that dietary cholesterol doesn't really have an effect on our blood cholesterol. So eggs are still a wonderful option for us. Gotcha. Now we were chatting about these yes. really pretty eggs earlier and you were explaining this isn't, they weren't dyed, you know, with a Easter egg kit or anything. Can you tell us a little bit about these special yes. eggs? So these are very special in my family. The, this is my grandpa's famous Easter egg recipe. So these, I dyed this year for myself and they're actually colored with onion skins. I, which just, boggles my mind yes. and how does that work? Yeah, so this is my recipe from Alice that's featured on my social media this past month. So you can try it at home okay. any time of the year because all you need is lots and lots of onion skins. You just boil the eggs, let them sit and soak for a few hours, and they give this beautiful color. I was going to say, yeah, that color mm -hmm. is just so stunning. Yes. And a little bit of flavor, too. So there's lots of ways you can Ooh, enjoy eggs. Probably would be good on a salad. Oh, yeah, salad and then deviled eggs. I like to spice up my deviled eggs with a little bit of pickle relish or sometimes horseradish, too. The protein in eggs is really kind of a blank slate for a lot of unique flavors. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, if people want to learn more about the incredible edible eggs of Wisconsin, where can they go? Well, great resources actually through UW extension at uwex.edu slash poultry. So there's a lot of resources for learning about chickens, raising your own eggs. So if you're looking to start your own backyard flock, it's a great resource. Great. And if you didn't catch that, we'll have a link to that on our website, NBC15.com. Thank you so much, Tiana. Yes. We will be right back.